So I made a video about zombie land and I want this video to kind of coincide with those talking points prior. I believe that a lot of people don't want to work because, especially young people, because we don't see the hope. We don't see the possibilities. We're looking at how the hell am I going to live off $20 an hour, right? Um, we're looking at a lot of young people will never be able to afford to buy a house. I mean, especially if you're going to go the traditional path of going through an agent and hoping something comes on the market. Let me tell you something. I find deals. It takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of knocking on different doors and speaking to people. But you'd be surprised on what you can find if you're willing to go door to door. Anyway, I believe that the current financial system and, and the way things are, inflation, high prices, all this stuff contributes to young people not wanting to work. Old people, different mindset, okay? Because they know, listen, <laughs> somebody's got to take, I don't, I don't think a lot of young, young people have this long-term mindset about how life is and how life can be and will be. I believe too many of us are looking at, okay, I'm 21, I'm 25, I'm 30, I'm still young. 40 is when like everything of your 30s comes into place. 40 is when, have you been saving? Have you been taking care of your body? You start to see more results of that, in my opinion. I don't know everything because I ain't 40. But I just believe, based upon what I'm speaking, speaking to other uh, older men, 40 is like, 40 is like your last stop. Like, you have to have something going on in your 40s if you didn't do it in your 20s and 30s. Which is not with, not the good, not the position I want to be in. Because I see it too often with black men where early 40s, 50s even, is when you're starting to get sense, you're starting to save, you're starting to work and stuff like that. I kind of messed up <laughs> in my 20s, but I can definitely rebound in my early 30s and that's what this channel and this journey is all about. Now, I will say this. I believe that most people, again, most people are not looking to work because the, the current financial system just has everybody in a negative mindset. Like, what's the point? What's the point of being on this rat race? What's the point of being a part of this system to just work to have barely enough. And I believe that's where they're gonna get you and that's where they're gonna F you over. Because at the end of the day, you have to, you cannot protest and say, everything's too expensive, I can't afford rent, I'm not gonna do anything. And it's still expect to like what, live? Enjoy life? Get a decent, get a decent residence or, or any, like, you have to work. You have to be productive in some way, shape, or form. The government will not take care of you. I know a lot of people, they're going to come out with this, this programmable money. They're going to come out with CBDCs. And they're going to come out with UBI. And for a time, they're going to make people complacent and okay with a couple thousand digital programmable dollars that expire in three to six months. But you know, they're not going to sustain you until you're 80, 90. It's not going to work that way. And so thinking like that, it just doesn't make any sense. But again, I understand because I'm a young person. I've been through the 2008 crisis. And I didn't know exactly what was going on, but I still, to this remember, to this moment, remember looking back, working at Burger King, seeing what's going on on the TV screen. Like, damn, does this affect my hours? <laughs> that's, all, that's, that's as far as I thought. Does this affect my hours? Instead of, what the fuck is going on? I should have really been learning, like, what is going on? I would have been in the Bitcoin stocks and investing so much sooner, so much sooner. It doesn't matter, though. We are what we are. So... Because the financial climate is such one that it is it, such a, a farce, it, it, it is so toxic, it is so uh, crippling to the mindsets of the average person, the average person is giving up. Instead of looking for the opportunity where it exists, instead of understanding what can be done. What can be done? And it's not the same as let me do what my parents did. Let me go for a job and just hope that I still have a job in 10, 20, 30 years. Let me hold out for a city position in hopes for a pension. And that's going to be my next video before I get into my final video. We can't just sit here and think that things are going to be as my, our parents were, which is why when that old dude came to, not old dude, excuse me, but when a guy came to my comments, he was like, pension for 30 years, I'm just like, dude, you, you, you're left behind and you don't even realize it yet. Not to, not to diss him. 
it's like that's that's not the that's not the wave that's not how things are gonna work that's not what you should that's not what I would tell my kids my kid hey you should work for the government and hope that they're, they're gonna be around in 30 years hell no but again the way things are set up has young people not wanting to work and feeling lost but I got solutions stay tuned I got more videos for you guys Check me out later.